guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Scala, and today we are building in Planet Zoo a lovely little doll sheep habitat. But before we get any further on with the video, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys have enjoyed. So right here, as you can see, we are building a little doll sheep sort of mountain thing. And I started on the idea of sort of doing it all sort of mud because I was thinking that that might be easier. But then I, you know, I thought about what I really wanted from the zoo and I decided to go with a more natural vibe because I feel like that is more what the rest of the zoo is going to be like. So the name of this zoo is Rosa Zoo. I hope I pronounced that correctly because it is the Italian word for red. And the reason why I chose this is because my name, Scarlet, means red. So I wanted to keep it personal but still quite natural. So this star sheep habitat is hopefully going to be the first of many habitats in this zoo because hopefully as long as everything goes to plan I'm going to be posting once per week and every week there's going to be a planet zoo or a prehistoric kingdom so it's going to go planet zoo, one, two planet zoo and then one prehistoric kingdom. Going back to the theming part of it, because the name is Italian, I sort of wanted to take a bit of inspiration off the climate of Italy, because there's definitely some hot parts, uh, but there's also going to be some cold parts, so the cold parts are definitely going to be, you know, the dull sheep habitat and the next habitat that we're going to have in this series which is going to be the japanese macaque habitat is actually going to be connected to this build but you can find out more about that if you watch the next video and then we're going to have a bit more of a tropical section uh quite close to this section actually quite close to the entrance um and it's going to have a little bit of a wall around it but it isn't going to have a huge amount of wall around it and I hope that makes sense to all of you guys so back to the actual uh, thing that we're doing on the screen we're just now decorating the mountain with some foliage and some mulch just to make the actual mountain look better obviously you're not going to see it like directly without anything else but if you do ever look at it like that like i will and start judging your pieces of work it just makes it look better you know when you just look at it like that because of my incredibly picky pickiness which is probably one of the reasons why i started doing youtube was because I like other people to come in, you know, tell me that my pieces of work are fine because I do, you know, quite like to judge my own pieces of work, you know, and say they're not very good because it's so easy to, you know, be negative towards yourself and, you know, without sounding big headed, it's a little like harder to be positive about your work. Um, and, you know, I also thought other people like to watch, you know, other Planet Zoo or Prehistoric Kingdom YouTubers, so, you know, why wouldn't they fancy watching me, you know? Um, so that was my main idea when starting YouTube, and I also really wanted to go somewhere with Planet Zoo, because I feel like, as we are all feeling at the moment, Planet Zoo really needs to step up its game if it's gonna you know continue being the incredible game that it is you know because it's got so much competition these days you know like prehistoric kingdom and i feel pretty bad for planet zoo you know it's such an incredible game and like if i wasn't playing planet zoo i wouldn't be playing prehistoric kingdom but planet zoo really just it needs an oomph you know it needs some 
thing that will make you go, yes, Planet Zoo is back. You know, like aviaries or something like that. So that was that was a bit more of a reason, like, for me to do this, you know? For me to just feel the magic again of Planet Zoo, and it feels like starting all over, you know? Starting a completely new chapter in Planet Zoo, and just showing, you know, so many people what I can do, you know? At just being out there, at being online, whether people watch it or not, it's online, you know? I can say, well, just go and look at my Planet Zoo YouTube or something and I can be really happy and proud of it being on YouTube so I just think Planet Zoo is such an incredible game and I need to still feel that love of Planet Zoo so back to um what we are actually doing on screen um we have just got the doll sheep in as you can see um and i like to get <laughs> as i am sure most people will uh the animals with the best fertility but sometimes you can't do that unless you wait like 11 or 12 minutes for a better male that doesn't have like 33 or 17 percent just saying that because yes that did happen to me and i was just like i'm not waiting 12 minutes you know i'm not that's just a waste of my time you know it's a simulation game i'm not waiting for 12 minutes just to get some doll sheep babies you know not not like that to get someone with the best fertility who can still probably get doll sheep babies <laughs> you know um but yeah sorry what was I saying? Oh yeah, the fertility. So I just have, I sometimes have these moments where I just go, wait, what was I talking about again? And then I just need to go like, oh yeah, 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 that, that thing. Just that clicking moment. It's like when you just figured out a maths problem and you're like, that was so easy, you know? I, I have no idea why I'm relating it to maths. I, I mean, I love maths it's like my favorite subject but i really shouldn't relate that to this because <laughs> you guys are gonna be like oh, she's such a geek um but yeah so i i didn't want to wait for like 12 minutes so that's what i did and i feel like now i'm really running out of words so i'm gonna leave you guys with the rest of the speed build to watch me <laughs> mess around with some plants and stuff you know everything that you usually do on planet zoo and i'll see you guys when i give you a little tour in a little bit thank you guys for watching this speed build but make sure you do stay to the end to see the walkthrough because there are there is one change <laughs>
so we are here in the walkthrough as you can see that is my one change that i have made that you guys were absolutely dying to see and the view you know my extremely picky pickiness i'm very happy with this to be honest i am um as you can see i've got a little pond instead of a water pipe because no one likes those water pipes and according to planet zoo that male is not injured but i do not believe that are you stuck oh no okay you're fine um as you can see there was the food tray this is the area where the lead on to the japanese bacac is going to happen it's not a huge lead on it's just a few pillars and stuff but yeah the doll sheep are very happy i'm very happy and i hope you guys are very happy if you are remember to leave a like at this video and if you think this is going to make someone else very happy make sure to share it thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope to see all of you in the next video see you guys